Hi everyone, I'm Mason and I'm an instructor with EdTech Teacher. To get started with Flipgrid, navigate to flipgrid.com and create your free account. The free account, Flipgrid 1, comes with one grid, unlimited topics for unlimited students, unlimited responses, and video transcriptions. Once you create your account, you will be ready to create your first grid and your first topic. Once you create your grid, there are many customizations you can make to that grid, including the grid name, the grid code, whether that grid is active, you can password protect your grid, decide if that grid is shareable by others, to include moderations for your grid, who can follow your grid, if you would like to receive notifications on who posts to the grid, transcriptions, keywords, and backgrounds. You can choose from a library of Flipgrid backgrounds or customize your own. Once your grid is created, you can then create your first topic just by selecting new topic. And similar to the grid, on the topics, you can have a customizable name. By default, free accounts have 90 seconds for video response time. Give your grid a description or post questions to the grid. Choose a date for when you would like that grid to appear. Keep in mind that grids are sortable by dates. You can even post resources to your grid like recorded videos, imported videos from your computer, or YouTube. There are also other customizable options that you can make, including who can reply to grids, can viewer numbers be seen, links being shared, and whether you freeze the grid. Once that's done, create your topic and it is ready to be shared with your students. Back under Topics, you will see all of the topics you created, and here are some sharing options, including a unique URL, an embed code to embed to websites, or a QR code that younger students can use to scan. In addition, there are some social media tools in Google Classroom as well. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Go out, create your account, ignite discussion, and inspire students.